If you're feeling mixed up about Mix Minus on the Rodecaster Pro 2, let's minus those concerns by explaining it right now because the Rodecaster just got its biggest update ever when it comes to Mix Minus. The original Rodecaster Pro had one USB port and one way to do Mix Minus. The Rodecaster Pro 2 on launch had two USB ports and three ways to do Mix Minus. But now the possibilities are basically endless, but you know what won't be endless? This video, because we're gonna cover it quickly. So first and foremost, on the Rodecaster Pro 2, you do have two USB ports, and across those two ports, you have three USB devices. USB 1 gives you two input and output options for USB. And the second USB port gives you a secondary option called Roadcaster Secondary. It makes sense. There are a few different ways you can get into the input output routing. If you have one of the USB channels or the Bluetooth channel mapped to a physical fader, you can just press that channel's button and then you're going to get the options for that channel and you can tap on output routing. Or you can just press your settings and go to outputs and then tap on routing and you'll be at the exact same menu. And this is the menu that you will see for four different channels on the Rodecaster Pro 2. It will be for USB 1, USB 1 chat, USB 2, and Bluetooth. And basically you have three simple options. You have a main mix, mix minus, and a cut Custom. And between that, you can do pretty much anything you want. In this case, we're on main mix, and there's a brief description, which basically means that everything is going to be included in the main USB output mix. So if you have a channel with main mix selected, everything that's going into the Rodecaster Pro 2 is going to go out into anything where it's selected as the source. Now, there is a little warning on screen that says this setting can cause unwanted feedback if used incorrectly. And basically what that means is if you have audio coming in on a USB channel, it's probably going to cause feedback because it's gonna go back out on that USB channel. So if you're talking to somebody, if you're playing music from your computer that you wanna monitor on the Rodecaster, that's where you might have problems. Basically, if you have any audio coming from the computer that you don't wanna then have sent back out where it's gonna loop and create an echo. If you're not concerned with anything like that and you just want everything the Rodecaster's doing to go out to your computer, then main mix is fine. For the most part though, I think it's probably a safe bet to just use Mix Minus. And this is just a simple on off feature that's going to turn whichever channel you select as Mix Minus. So right here you can see it's USB 1, but I can go over to USB Chat 1, I can go to USB 2, and then I can go to Bluetooth and I have these same options, but all with independent settings. And all that the Mix Minus option does is it just takes the entire mix minus whichever channel you have selected. So this is the thing to use for any channels that you're talking to somebody else with over the computer, or if you have audio coming in from your computer, again, that you don't wanna go back out. Maybe it's music or some kind of other chat channel, or you have an instrument plugged into the Rodecaster and you're playing along to a backing track or a click track and you don't want that to then be sent back out. That's where you would wanna use Mix Minus. But here's where things get really, really exciting is this third option over here, custom. And I say that custom is really exciting cause Tom is really appreciative of a lot of the features that it brings in. Once you tap on custom for any of these channels, again, you have all these options for every channel. In the custom tab, you will see all of the Rodecaster Pro 2's inputs. So you have all of your XLR channels, you have Bluetooth, you have sound pads, you have the USBs, and then you can decide what you want to include and exclude. All you have to do is tap on the ones you don't want to include. Any inputs that are grayed out with a red X will not be included in the mix output for whichever channel you have selected, and any that are highlighted with a green check mark, those will be included. So you could create a really simple mix minus. If you don't want to use the mix minus setting, you could just go to custom, turn everything on, except for the USB that you don't want to include, and then you've created a very simple USB mix minus. And these are ordered in the way that you have them assigned to the faders on the Rodecaster, so they will change if you change your fader assignments. So between three USB outputs plus Bluetooth, plus these three different settings for each channel, you can probably achieve just about any kind of mix that you can dream of, but we can take things even further. Earlier I mentioned that the Rodecaster Pro 2, even though it has two USB ports, has three USB devices. Let's talk about that. So right now I have USB 1 connected to my computer, and if I go to my audio outputs, you will see that I have Rodecaster Pro 2 chat and Rodecaster Pro 2 main multi-track. Now what this means is even though I've only got the one cable connected, I still have those two input outputs. So. What I could do over here is on USB 1, I could create like a main mix. And so that way everything that's in the Rodecaster Pro 2 will just go out to my stream. So in my streaming software like Ecamm or OBS, I can select main as the audio source and everything in here is gonna go out there. But say I'm doing something where I'm 
talking to somebody on Discord or I have some kind of other audio source coming in, then I can go over to chat, I can turn on mix minus or even just do a custom mix. And now in Discord, I can select that option. And then there will be no Discord among my settings because everybody on Discord will have a mix minus situation, but everything on the stream won't have a mix minus, but there won't be any echoes or overlap between any of them. And despite its name, the chat channel doesn't have to just be for things like chat. It's just another USB channel. You can use it for whatever you'd like. You can assign it however you'd like and configure it however you'd like as well. But there's also USB 2 and I would be too reckless if I didn't talk about some of the things you can do with that. So now that I have a USB cable connected to the second output, I can run this into an entirely different device, a totally different computer. And then on USB 2, I can then select that routing table configuration however I want it to be. But I could also take this cable and connect it to my same computer that I had before. And now when I go to my input output options, I have three Rodecaster Pro options right here, chat, main, and secondary, and I can configure them however I want and select different ones within different applications that are running simultaneously on my computer. It's kind of crazy. Now there has also been a change with how USB 1 interacts with your computer in terms of multi-track versus stereo. Right now, if I look at my computer and I have the sources, I have main multi-track. And if I go into my outputs on the Rodecaster Pro 2 and I tap on multi-track, there's an option at the top here to select USB and I can select off, pre-fader or post-fader. If pre or post-fader is turned on, then on my computer, I'm gonna see that as a multi-track source. But this is very important because some software does not like working with the multi-track USB. So if you're having issues with that, you can just turn that off. And then once you have that set, your computer will then see that as Rodecaster Pro 2 stereo. If you don't know which setting to use, just keep it to stereo and you'll be fine. But if you're somebody who wants multi-track, you have that option too. So hopefully you can see with an update like this, just the number of possibilities that are opened up to you and how you want to use the Rodecaster Pro 2 within your workflow, which just continues to make it, I think, something that's incredibly valuable to have. And speaking of things that are incredibly valuable to have, thank you to everyone who helps support my channel through Patreon and YouTube channel memberships. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about the Rodecaster Pro 2, check out these videos too.